Welcome back everybody. It's Midnight Mandy from the Squeaky Sneezes channel. Today we're going to talk about how to install mods for The Sims. Now when it comes to mods for The Sims, generally there are three different types. We're only going to talk about one and that's packages. The website that I'm currently using is called Mod The Sims and you need to make sure that when you're looking for mods that you're paying attention to where you're getting them from. Always, always make sure you're reading the information and make sure that you're getting your mods from a reputable source. This particular one was recommended by quite a few people in a Sims group and so this is the one that I'm going to stick with for now. And I will happily drop the link in the description for you. I do recommend that you come to this page and read up on all of this information. But for now, we're going to move on to installing the mods. Now up in the top left, you're going to see where it says download. This is what you're going to click. Click right here and go to The Sims 3. And I actually already have this pulled up. Here you'll find a list of all kinds of mods that you can download and install. Now I'm going to use this particular one right here, the Winterberries. Aren't those clothes cute? <laughs> they really are. Now when you come to these separate mod pages, you need to make sure that you're reading all of the information here because the creators of the mods leave you all kinds of information, including things that may or may not go wrong or things that have gone wrong and how to fix it and most importantly, where to find your mods. So you'll see down here in our basic information that this mod is for female children only and you'll find these clothes in the everyday formal wear and career categories. So that way you know exactly where to go, what to look for, and you're not searching all over everywhere else and thinking that you've installed it incorrectly. Now we'll move on to the files page and this is where you'll actually download the files. First off, you need to look at this part right here. This is gonna tell you the, the packs or the expansion packs that you need for the mods to run correctly. If you install a mod and you don't have the right expansion pack, it's not gonna work for you. Now below the required expansion packs, you're going to find these little links like this. This is what you're going to want to click on to download the mod. I'm going to minimize here and I'm going to click on the first one. You see I'm downloading right here and I'm going to move it to my Sims mod folder. That's something you're going to want to do. You want to have a folder that you can put these in that is easily accessible. All right, now we can officially close out of our browser. And we're going to open this folder. Now these are zip files, so you're going to have to open them with a program like WinZip or 7-Zip, whatever you have on your computer. Once you've unzipped your files, you're going to want to put those in a place that you can find very easily. I'm just going to set mine right there on my desktop. And then you can actually go in and delete these. You're not going to need these anymore. They'll just take up space on your computer and we're going to close out of that window. Well, now that we've got the mods on our computer, where do we put them? Well, we have a Sims folder that we need to locate in order to put them inside. So what you need to do, you need to open your PC documents. Then you find your electronic arts folder. And then you find your Sims folder. Now once you're in your Sims 3 folder, you're going to need to find another folder that says Mods. And generally speaking, you're not going to have this in there. You're going to have to install it so that your game will actually run the mods. In order to get the Mods folder into your Sims folder, you're going to have to come to this web page, and I will drop the link into the description for you. And you will need to follow the instructions here to download and then install the Mods folder. Once you've got the mods folder installed, you're going to open it up. You should have overrides, packages, and resources here. You need to open up packages. And this is the place where you're going to insert all of these little package files. And these are your mods. As you can see, I've, I've been busy working on mine. <laughs> so just drag them in here. And I actually already have these inside. So I'm not going to do that again. But it's that simple. Next step is to actually open up your game and to make sure that the items that you've installed are where they're supposed to be. Now, I've already got mine up and running and you can see the little outfits that we installed are right here. They really stick out from the default options because they have the custom icons. And that's it guys. 
If you have a question for me, just leave it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That's all for today's tutorial. I really hope it helped some of you out. I know I learned a lot. <laughs> Thanks so much and I hope you tune in again for the next tutorial. Have a good day.